Can you fix me? Like lift here. And? I don't know. That's it. But, come on, fix me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Poking your teacher, huh? <laughs> yeah, you were good. You were good. <laughs> Go. <gasps> Did it wake you up? It's good for your vestibular system. I have been teaching dance for 30 years. Shoulders down, Juwan. Shoulders down, Brianna. Up and curve. Stay. Open those knees. Good. Good. That's it, Bridget. You feel the difference? Now slide your scapula down, Bridget. Exactly. Good. Do you feel the difference? Go to where you like to used to go. Okay. Do you see that? Yeah. And she's still getting a nice lunge without doing, I don't even want to do it. But you get what I mean, right? But really put your hands on your eyes. I try to have a few methodologies when I teach. I try to explain it verbally. I try to demonstrate it. And then I want them to feel it. And sometimes if they can't quite feel them, I'll need to come up and adjust their body slightly to get them in the right position so then they can feel what that is, memorize that, and then try to duplicate that. Don't let the supporting leg bend. Don't let it bend. Drop your hip. Drop your hip, Juwan. Super clean, squeaky clean, love clean. Such gorgeous use of the back. I'm so happy. This is kind of dorky, isn't it? It's dorky. Well, can you re choreograph it for me, please? <laughs> Make fun of me and you can't do it. <laughs> In modern two, the movement combinations are simpler. It's like a language class. First the basics, and you know, by the end, you can have a conversation. Mm -hmm. 